Hi guys, so in today's video I want to talk about dealing with difficult family members. Uh, in the ICU especially, we have um, obviously a lot of family members and those family members are making decisions a lot of times for ICU patients and um, from what I've learned as a nurse is that family members can make or break your shift. If you have a great family who's just, you know, asks appropriate questions, they're not like super demanding, things like that, your shift can can be even better having a great family there. But if you have a family who's um, very difficult, maybe they are um, have a lot of needs, to say it nicely, um, then it can make your shift difficult. So, being that I work in the ICU, the most important thing to me is that I am able to focus on my patient and their care and that they're safe and that they're getting the care that they need. And um, family members are wonderful and great, but if it starts to interfere with my ability to take care of a patient, then that's when I feel the need to say something or stand up for my patient, things like that. And we're going to talk about how and what is a good way to do that. First and foremost, you have to understand that family members that have a loved one in the hospital, whether they're in ICU or not, are under a lot of stress. Emotionally, physically, they sleep over in the hospital, they're barely getting any rest, they're so stressed, they're so emotional, and they're not having their best days. So sometimes that can manifest towards you to where they are maybe not very nice to you and rude and um, extra demanding and sometimes that's just part of the job and you, as a nurse you kind of just have to, to a certain extent, just take it, let them vent and, you know, kind of go go on with your day and their day. I've had a few circumstances where um, family members maybe are, I don't want to say being unreasonable, but maybe they have a lot of needs and demands and it's interfering with my ability to take care of their loved one or my patient. And um, if it gets to that point, I think it's important as nurses that we stand up for our patients, stand up for ourselves and be their advocate. And sometimes you have to step in and say things like, I understand you have a lot of questions or I understand that you need this. However, my goal as a nurse is to take care of your loved one and focus on your loved one. And when we're having these extra conversations or things, it's interfering with that ability for me to just be able to focus on your loved one and they are very, very sick and need my full attention. So I'm happy to answer your questions as we go when time permits. And I think that's a very safe way to say it. Um, most of the time family members are pretty perceptive to that or, or perceptive, receptive to that when you say that. Not always so it can go either way and it's not trying to, you know, it's not like it's me against them. It's just like we both want the best for your loved one at least I hope so, and um, if it's getting to a point where that's getting interfered with, then, you know, it's time to stand up and say something. Um, also, in the ICU, a lot of times patients' anxiety increases when family members come into the room because for whatever reason, one, maybe they don't have a good relationship with that family member and they just make them anxious in general, or two, maybe family, like patients don't like when their family members see them at a very weak moment. So it can be a, very stressful for them. And so sometimes, especially with vented patients, um, you'll notice when if they're not like sedated enough that when a family member comes in the room, their heart rate goes up, their respiration rate goes up, they're desatting, they're anxious, they're restless. And sometimes as nurses, we need to know like when to step in and say like, you know, I know you loved your loved one, but we just need to let them rest. If you don't mind just like maybe standing back a little bit and observing and just not being so as close because it's causing them harm. And I know that's kind of a harsh way to put it, but maybe don't say harm, maybe say something like it's, it's causing them to be very stressed. I can tell this by their heart rate's up, they're breathing faster, they're moving a lot more, and we just want to make sure that they're getting the rest that they need to heal. Anyways, I feel like I just rambled a lot in that video, so if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, again, I hope this video doesn't really offend anyone, and it's not intended to, it's just trying to talk about the real side of nursing. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!